All right, folks, now if you want to add more form fields to your form, you can copy and paste what's already there and rename it. Or you can go to the Bootstrap website and actually grab different types of form components. Now, if you just want to add, say, we'll go into this example here, and if you wanted to add a fax number, what you would do is you would copy an existing field and paste it, or form group, copy, paste, and then it would show up. For this example, this form group right here, it's in a div class called form group, and this is the way Bootstrap works. It wraps all your individual form elements into a form group class, and it requires a label and an input. The label is what your customers or your visitors see. The input is the information that is sent to you in your email so you can understand what they're entering. So we'll select these four lines right here for the existing form group. We'll copy it. I'm going to make a little bit of space down below it because I'm going to add a next one here. And we're going to call this facts. And under the name, now there may or may not be a name field. You can add your own. If there isn't a name field, just go put your cursor after the closing quote for form control and between the closing bracket, hit the space bar, type in name. So it pops up like that. And then fax is pretty accurate. So that's a good description. And this name is what you'll see uh, the uh, in your email when you receive it. So that's how to add your own by copying and pasting an existing form field. You just have to change the name of the field, uh, sorry, the name, the what the visitor sees in the page, and this is what you see in the email. That's the label for the email. But like I said, you can also go to the Bootstrap website and find existing form codes or other form codes and form groups and copy and paste that directly into the site. So here's a great list of examples and all the examples have example code, right? So if you wanted something with a drop, so let's say, for example, you wanted this example select with a drop down, you could go down below to the code and you see the example select. Well, pretty much everything, as I mentioned before, is in a form group, right? So you would copy the form group. And this is, if you sort of notice how this is, these are all labeled for those folks that aren't comfortable working with HTML. The div containers are indented. So a form group, you would just simply look down to the closing div or where the next form group starts. You want to make sure you grab the div container right above it and all the code, copy it, go back to your site after an existing form group, pop it in and paste. Now working with forms and creating your own forms is, I'm going to say it's not for the faint of heart. Um, it does have to be done in HTML uh, and code view. It's not something you can do in design view. It does require copying and pasting and editing of all the content uh, in, in the HTML view of the page. Uh, but that is just to give you an overview. It's one of those things, if I'm not sure what I'm doing and I'm trying something out, what I will do first is I'll make a copy of the library asset that I'm working on. So I'll make a copy of my contact page first before I do any edits. I'll make the updates and I'll try and get it working the way I want. If that doesn't work, I can simply open up my copy, go file, save as, and save it over top of my the one I was working on to go basically go back to scratch. Or I can just copy the code from inside and paste it over top. But as long as I have a backup uh, before I start messing with things, I'm feeling pretty confident.